for alive. What is up my shredheads? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video or today's live stream, we're back to do another unboxing. I know it's been a while, but uh, I know <laughs> we've actually set up this stream a couple times, but we weren't able to get like uh, the code or the link for you guys. So we finally got the link. We're finally gonna be unboxing uh, the, C the 10 way CGO 600 Pro. It's gonna be like a super lightweight bike. Actually a bike like this, I've never had on a channel. Normally we're used to more like moped style e-bikes, but this is kind of like a bike that you're gonna wanna work out on and actually pedal. It's belt driven. But uh, before we get started on this video, if you guys do wanna support the channel, we do have a special guest. So you're probably gonna be seeing the kitty cat right here, Sushi. Um, maybe, maybe he'll come up, let's see. Come on, Sushi. Get up here, Sushi. Come on, Sushi. You can do it, Sushi. Not doing it. Um, yeah, before, if you guys wanna support the channel, check out that link down below for 10 ways, the CGO 600 Pro. Uh, there isn't a discount code, but if you do use the link, then I know I send you over. And if the 10 ways isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. But uh, before we get started, actually, let's say hi to everybody in the chat and the live stream. I know we haven't seen you guys in a while. It's been a little bit. We've been super crazy busy. Lots of huge brands coming our way. Brands that you, got, you guys have been waiting for. A lot of traveling and a special guest coming next week. All right, so, so far we have Raphael. What's Bubba up, Shitty. Raphael? Bubba Shitty. Nevermind, a Shredhead member. What's up, Nevermind? And uh, <laughs> welcome to all the Shredhead members that are in here. And special shout out to all the Shredhead members. Uh, if you guys do want to become a Shredhead member, there is a link down there, uh, youtube.com forward slash shreddingmixscape forward slash join. You get videos like two to three days earlier. You get that cool little uh, Shredhead logo next to your name and I think you, you get your name like highlighted, which is pretty awesome. Five bucks a month. Um, and if you guys want any more different types of, of tiers, throw me some ideas. I, I, I'd love to hear them. So we have Shredhead members, David Cook, Bulletproof, Nevermind. Yes, mind. yes, everybody's here. Da Diarrhea, can I get a shout out? <laughs> What's up, Da Diarrhea? Shout out to Da Da Diarrhea. What up, uh, Matt the Mechanic? What's up, Matt the Mechanic? Bulletproof, hey everybody. We have Demon Hunter. What is up? What is up? How's Matt. everybody uh, doing on this fine, fine Thursday? <laughs> Matt said it's a cat. Come on, Sushi. The sushi. Scarecrow, another Shredheads member. Hello. What's up, Scarecrow? All right, so I, I, I took out the staples on the top before, because you guys know how much I love staples, but anyways, I took them out before I get cut up. I actually removed them all and threw them in the trash. So screw those stupid staples. I don't know what color we got actually. So let's get this sucker open. I don't know if Sushi's gonna get out of the way or hang out the whole time. Sometimes he actually jumps up on my shoulders and hangs <laughs> out with me, which is pretty crazy. He's a silly little cat. And one time he got stuck behind our washer dryer and was crying out like, Four in the morning. Four in the morning. It was pretty funny. And he brought a banana upstairs. <laughs> With little teeth marks in it. You guys want to see them? Everybody loves kitty cats. See? That's Sushi. Say hi, Sushi. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> All right. He's being good. All right, so I'm going to pull out. I know while I'm on the ground, he's going to be hanging out. Pull out all the little boxes that come in there. My guess is this is a kickstand. I'm not sure. Sorry, Sushi. Do you want to play with these or something? We have a question from Bulletproof in the chat. What's up, Bulletproof? Are we going to get an unboxing review of the new Zeus e-bike? Oh, you, you know the future, do you? Don't you? <laughs> so it's getting sent out on Monday. So it should be here very soon. And actually, the owner from Zeus is going to be stopping by here at the end of the month to hang out and maybe do a video with Shreddy, which would be super awesome. All right. I'm just gonna take all this stuff out. And oh, that, that's a cool color. Very cool color. Oh yeah, we don't even know what color the bike is. It's a surprise. Nope. Guess what color, what color do you guys think the bike is? Comment in the chat. Dude, those 10, the, I don't know, I call them 10 speed tires. Those little thin ones, holy moly. I bet you that thing, they take like 80 PSI, which is crazy. Oh, we got a little, uh... oh, and there's a, so what are we, where, when are we, we're unboxing a bunch of stuff. So we got one coming, hold on, what's today, Thursday? Maybe we'll do one 
Saturday and Sunday, maybe, or maybe Sunday and Tuesday. I'm not sure. What, what she day always listening to me. works best for oh. you guys for a video and what time works good for you? You can do a poll like right there if you want, if you want to, it doesn't matter. Check out their, not that I read these or anything, but check out the instruction manual. It actually has like a nice little like rubber feel to it. It actually looks pretty sick. <laughs> they did a good job on the instruction manual. But uh, Cat might be pushing the camera a little bit. Sorry, guys. Their little tool set. Here's their, their little tool set. I'll, I'll pull everything out. Boom. Boom. Sushi, do you want to help me? <laughs> Got some Allen keys. Hopefully I'm in frame. Uh, a pump. They give you a little pump. Took me a second to figure out what that was. Reflectors, but I don't use them. I like uh, using like blinkers on my backpack. Oh, actually I'll probably use this reflector though. Looks like a battery powered uh, reflector for the rear. Boom. I guess it wraps around this little rubber strap. What are you doing, Sushi? Are you playing with the bike seat? <laughs> Sushi's having a good old time hanging out here. Oh, hold on. Let's not miss these. More Allen keys. I'm just gonna keep everything out as I pull it out. Little flat pedals. Let's see, my guess is this is a two amp charger and probably a 36 volt. Three amp charger at 42 volt output. All right, done with that. Dee's working on that pole. Well, I am still pulling things out of oh, the seat. Let's look at the seat and pull that off since Sushi was playing with, with that. Seat, boom, boom. See how that feels on the biscuits. Everyone's I'm, guessing the color of the bike is green. Green, I, I, I wish. I do uh, like JR13. green though. Hey D, I hope you had a great B day, young lady. Thank you. That's right, guys. D had her her birthday. Wait, I don't, wait. I'm... Guess, you guys. I just had a huge birthday milestone. Guess what birthday it was for? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know if I was allowed to say. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, the battery. Said Saturday. Uh, someone said the bike's gonna be blue and green. We have more votes for blue. Black. Always put that blade away, no matter what. <laughs> I remember one time when I was a kid, I was opening a box with a razor and I didn't know the razor was upside down and I went to like push down and it went straight through my thumb, dude. It was oh, crazy. God. It Did hurt. It hurt so bad now. I'd, I'd it up. I think I super glued it. Super glue works. You guys, I know you, you've used super glue, I'm sure. I think this is a seven amp hour battery. 36 volt, 10 amp hour. Oh, did I say seven? 36 volt, 10 amp hour battery. What, it's, I feel like it said something different on the website or maybe not. This is the smallest battery I've ever, ever had on the channel. So that's gonna push me to pedal that bike. I think they, they claim like a range up to like 53 miles. Oh, and where but we'll go the, over the specs. Where is the 10 ways from, Eddie? What country? See, can you help? <laughs> nope, never mind. I'll just knock it all on over. Did you say the Netherlands earlier? Yes, the 10 ways uh, oh. electric bike company is from the Netherlands. It's a very popular bike in Europe that is now in America. Can we turn up the air conditioning in this crib? It's pretty low. I think I'll turn, I'll turn it, it down one. Yeah. All right. We're, there's like a big old, uh, it's wrapped in plastic. Hmm. That's the first time I've seen that. Wow, that is so crazy light. That's so weird. I'm not used to like, pull, like pulling up the whole bike. Just like that. That's insane. You just hit the guitar strings and it made music. Ooh. That's crazy. Look at that belt driven. That's so cool. Oh, so how many pounds is this bike? Uh, let me, where are my specs at? It's like 37 pounds or something crazy. The thing is light. Yeah, 37 pounds. And I think that's with the battery in. They claim up to 53 miles range. It's got a rear hub. I, I 
It's a 250 watt motor, Gates carbon belt drive, and I think I got the medium size frame. Excuse me, sushi. I wonder if this is the lightest weight e-bike. 37 pounds. Crazy. What's up, sushi? <laughs> So yeah, he's gonna be hanging out the whole video, guys. For they are sure. 13. Uh, oh, 21. <laughs> you think I'm 21? Thanks. Dodo Diarrhea said 21. How old do you guys think I am? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right. Edmund Kim said sushi. Sushi. Dodo Diarrhea said I used super glue to <laughs> reseal my leg from the peg of my dirt bike. See? It works and it's non-toxic, right? Did you make your name that so whenever you're in a live chat, like people have to like say it like that, like the <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Jar 13, Eddie is the meaning of a Toys R Us kid. He yeah. acts like it's Xmas on all the bike openings. I love it. Well, you guys remember we had the Christmas tree up for like literally, what, an extra two or three months? <laughs> and then you guys were asking the, for the longest, like when's the Christmas tree leaving? And then when it left, you guys were missing it. <laughs> I like to play virtual reality Gran Turismo, guys. This is my, my uh, little setup, by the way. All right. Really link for that. It's like <laughs> I'm excited for these, these next uh, couple brands we're working with, guys. So I hope you guys are ready for a bunch of videos, a bunch of fun, crazy videos. Uh, and they're brands I never thought I'd be working with, so it's pretty cool. There we go. <laughs> That's like the most cardboard stuff. I've oh, there's another the feature of this bike that you guys would really like. That no other bike you've had on the channel has had, right? Belt driven. Yes. Belt driven. Yep. Which this will be the first. Less maintenance. I was supposed to have a bike that was belt driven, but never showed up. Does it have a little spacer for my brake? Yep. I still have yet to like unbox a bike and totally ruin the bike, right? Like screwed up, maybe like ripped something off or broke something. Like have I had a failure of a build yet on my, uh, my live builds? I've definitely had some struggles with Shreddy for sure. Still going. You know what happens sometimes with tools? You just put them somewhere. You think you're gonna remember where you laid them and then you forget. You guys, comment in the chat what time works best for you guys for these live unboxing videos. Yeah. I see everyone voted for Saturday for the next live unboxing, but what time works best for you guys? Yeah. And let us know, is it Eastern Standard, Pacific Standard? Should I tell you guys, should I tell them the brands yet? Or should I tell Surprise. them the day of the unboxing? Yeah. It's brands that you guys you actually asked me about them maybe like a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, back when they kind of started popping up. The, can you guys see all that trash on the ground? I, I want to make it look nice for y'all. <laughs> no, they can't. You guys are my friends, so I want, it, I want everything to be nice for you guys. David Cook said, you got me wanting to be a YouTuber just to satisfy my e-bike addiction. Right? <laughs> just, just for the unboxing and builds. Like, t like ripping no. all this stuff off is so much fun. Here comes Sushi. Sorry, so the What up, bro? <laughs> you going to step around the bike or on the bike? Let's see. Yep, he's stepping JR13, around. JR13, I'll around. be in New York this weekend for the Sur on Mega Ride, so I'm not going to be able to watch it. So, I, man, I was supposed to be coming to the ride tomorrow but that ride ended up falling through so if i can make it there i will try my, my damnedest if somebody's coming through the state of delaware maybe y'all can help me out and bring me in, in my saran if, if that's cool <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, everybody's probably laughing like no not at all i was just laughing at the cat oh <laughs> i thought he was about to end up on both your shoulders like usual yeah, I'm gonna be covered in cat hair by the end of this unboxing. <laughs> so the Mega Ride's over Sunday though, so that might be an okay day. To Started do it. today. I wish I was there for all of it. Yeah. 
Like all the homies are there, man. Already having FOMO. Hold on, how long has just taken all this off been? It does look nice and lightweight. I love it. It's super light. This will be nice. like an actually, actually I could probably mount this bike on the back of your car rack, like the regular one with the straps yes. with your bike too. Because yes. it's so light yeah, this and we can go on a, rides everywhere. Yep, it can go on a regular bike rack. That's awesome. All right. Let's see. We'll figure out how we're going to do this build. That's a major plus. I wish Mike Feedy was in the chat. He already built his. I want to know if there's any tips. Tips, tips, tips. All right. So the rear fender is pretty much mounted. All I got to do is, looks like, remove this bolt right here. Yep, and that bolt right there. Okay. Flip this sucker around. Ooh. Let me get it. Let me get it in frame for y'all. There we go. Why do I keep on talking like that, y'all? <laughs> where I, where I, I'm, I'm editing a, a Suron video because I put new uh, rear spring on it and uh, I put new fast ace brakes on there. And like D heard me like editing and I say something like, y'all going down here? <laughs> I was like, are you country <laughs> She's now? like, what is going on? <laughs> and now you're going country again. I'm going country. All right. Okay, tools. Uh, Sushi is actually watching the tools for me. I'm going to get the handlebar on, flip it upside down. And then get everything on. How about how about that? How about that? Sushi's getting excited. He thinks I'm gonna pet him, and I did. So he got his way. All right. Okay. We love kitties. We love doggies. We love animals here. All right. My guess is it's gonna be this size. What up, Sushi? Don't steal my tools, bro. Can you see Sushi? Yes. <laughs> All right, so there is washers on these. Don't lose these bad boys. I'm just going to get the front handlebar on. There's four. You guys want me to zoom in? I can get closer. That's okay. Unless they want you to zoom in. I'm sure they know how to put on the handlebars. I think I've showed them maybe once I'll or twice on a closer. bike or two. If I was watching, I'd want to see it closer, so. Okay. Thanks for being so considerate of our subscribers and followers. What's up, Sushi? He's like, I just Oh, need... Mike Feedy's in the chat. Oh, yes, there he is, Feedy. I wish you were here, actually, right now with me, helping me out. He was just talking about you. That's so funny. He said, oh, you got a kitty? We're babysitting Sushi, the cat. Yeah, so he's, like, just chilling the whole time. My brother's cat. My mom brought him down. Yep. So yeah, these moms here in the background, you guys want to say hi? Everybody say hi to Dee Dee's mom, Patty. We have a wedding this weekend. Weddings. We love weddings. Free food. Treats, dancing, cake. Not that I dance, I don't really dance. Sometimes I'll, I'll slow dance with Dee Dee with no music on. <laughs> very, very rarely. <laughs> <laughs> with no music. Maybe like once. Jared right. 13, I don't know how to do it. I use all your tools and put mine on, please. Ha, ha, ha. Right. <laughs> Jared 13, hey, Mike, that was a good video on the rim today, man. I didn't know how to do that. So Same here, bro. That was like the best hack I've ever seen. I'm like, wait a minute. You don't need a freaking uh, one of those things you put the rim on to straighten it. Mike said, I'll come for the next ride Let, live. Let's plan it. For sure, for sure. I want you to come for one of our next rides. Where I'm, I'm thinking about doing like every, for the rest of the summer, doing like an every Monday or an every Tuesday type ride from like four to, to nine or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm still trying to figure Friday it out in my head. What, what day works good for you guys yeah. for a ride? But I feel like everybody that's vacationing, that when they come here to vacation, we're at the beaches. We're at the Delaware beaches. So if you guys ever vacation, Delaware Beaches, I'm going to be setting up some group rides around here, something something like LA Eastgate does, like where they do like weekly rides all around. Jr. 13 said, hell yeah. So yeah, if you're like, you come and visit in from California, Florida, wherever, wherever you're coming from. Mike Feeney, do you have any tips for assembly for this bike? Eddie was wondering. Yeah, what do you suggest? I'm, I'm, put, I'm doing this in like the cross 
whatever pattern. Nice and even all around. I'm not gonna do it super duper tight yet because I'm probably, I'm probably gonna adjust it a little bit. Jero13 said, we can't do Mondays because we do a ride each Monday here in Philly. Oh, okay. So we're, we were ask, actually thinking about rides in Philly. My friend Jeff uh, oh man, Iqbal, a famous singer, actually lives around there also. And he lives around here and he lives, actually he lives everywhere. But uh, he was wondering if they had like Philly rides. Uh, if, if you're friends with me on Instagram or Facebook, can you send me any kind of information on those rides? That way, I can roll up there with him. He has a Tesla that he loads up his bikes on. And uh, yeah, I would love to ride with you guys. All right, I'm already losing tools. Uh, what size is this? Mike B <laughs> said, much appreciated. It's probably the size that I had in my hands. Oh, here it is. Oh, where, oh, where are my tools? <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, I'm guessing how to put this. I, I think it's this one. It's got to be this one. How about I know it's this one? Mike, what color bike did you get when you did this one? He got, it was like a, his looked cool. I liked his green. Oh, that's right. It was the light lime green. So yeah, Eddie, what colors does this come in? I guess I got to get, get the, soon. yeah. We'll get to all the specs soon. Damn, this is a long freaking boat. I hope this is the right one. Yeah, we're good. Why is this so long? Feedy, why is this one long? This is like the, the one that holds a fender uh, bottom part on here. Or is it? Yeah, it is. It is hot in here though. Do you care if I open a, a window? Or I turned it down. To what? 73. Oh, nice. Perfect. Perfecto. Shreddy getting sweaty. The struggle hasn't started yet. I get really sweaty when, when I'm really struggling. Where's Dead Shred at? He, he's usually hanging out watching. <laughs> Do you guys know Dead Shred? Give me a thumbs up if you know who I'm talking about. I'm about to get in my boxers, yo. It's getting hot. Your Manscaped <laughs> boxers? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this video now, this, isn't, this video is not sponsored by Manscaped. I think the link is still down below. If they want to buy Manscaped, know. who's your code? Do you have a code? Uh, Coach Ready, twenty percent off. Ready for Manscaped. Ow! Guys. Oh great. <laughs> Ow. That hurt. Yeah, so new Suron video coming out very soon. Mike Feedy said he has no tips. It's pretty straightforward. He said, "Yeah, I remember the kickstand being different than others going on." Hold on, there's. It doesn't have a kickstand. Where's the kickstand? Wait a minute. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Get the front tire on. Getting the front tire on. You guys have any plans for this weekend? There you go. Come to the beach. Hang out with Shreddy. That's what they're doing. All right. <laughs> JR 13 said, if you walk around your boxers and not watching it. <laughs> Why? All right. There we go. Pull that bad boy out. What size rotors are these? 160s. Man, how, how, many, how much pressure do you put on these tires? <laughs> 50 to 75. That's crazy. What in the world? That, that's really, that's like, that's crazy. Mike Feedy said, how much do I need to super chat you to shave your head on a live with a Manscaped ball trimmer? <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I will ever, ever shave my head like ever, unless I do go bald, but I'm pretty old now. I haven't <laughs> went bald yet, so I don't know. Might go bald, who knows? There we go. All right, we're in there, we're in there. All right, so, Feedy, do you think there, there's a special size you should put the, the little uh, latch on? Should it be on rotor side or opposite of rotor side, which I think you should put it on, on this side, I think. Does anybody else know, guys, in the, in the comments? My guess is you put it on 
opposite of the rotor side. That way you can kind of get that out of the way. And then the, the tightness of it, I always hear you got to like tighten it enough to where it kind of leaves like an indent in your finger when you push it in, but not like a crazy super indent. JR said, yes, keep it away from the motor. I have rotor. Rotor, yep. Mike Feedy said none. <laughs> none. <laughs> N-O-N. So I, I learned this one from Feedy, actually. You, uh, you push it up against the fork like that. Keep it up against the fork, if, if I remember correctly. Hopefully I remembered correctly. <laughs> All right. Should I put on the pedals now, too, while it's upside down? I think so. I got a front fender to put on. I'll put that when it's uh, right side up. Maybe I was supposed to put the front fender on when the tire was off. Psh, who knows? Did I read the instructions? No. <laughs> Not at all. Matt said, we got to get El Carabino, Carabino from Doggy Style in Rehoboth. Oh, what? The Puerto Rican food store? You know, I love me that what's, Puerto Rican food. What's in food? that? JR13 said, how is baby Suron doing? Suroner? <laughs> Connor Serrano. Connor Serrano. Yeah. He's doing good. He's uh, just started learning wheelies. So hold on. Let's see. Yeah, that's his left side. Like he said, yup. Matt Mechanic said, going to outfit him with a power toy soon. <laughs> nice. Hey, what's up? What the? What the? What the? What the? What the? Yep, we're good. What's up, Sushi? How you doing, my dude? Mike Feedy said, you can with the tire on. I did it with the tire on. Okay. I did, I've done it before where like you had to do it with the tire off and like it sucked. I ended up just like going, just deflating the tire and like squishing it down. I think it was with the wicked thumb, like back when I got it. Pretty funny. What else do we got going on, DD? Wow, this actually, that feels nice. It feels really smooth actually. That's pretty nice. Normally, you are supposed to put like a little bit of grease on there if you want to do that, but Shreddy's never done it, and I've never had a problem. Ever. Damn, this bike is light. It's crazy. Do any of uh, you guys have a light e-bike? Yo, if this video gets like a thousand likes, which I doubt it, <laughs> I'll get freaking a whole spandex set up for the review. <laughs> I'll go straight up spandex rider. <laughs> All right, is it ready to flip? All right, we're gonna flip it. We are going to put the front fender on it. Oh, it's got a little integrated light on the front, which is pretty cool. Look at that. It actually looks like really nice. Look at yeah, the front it does. of that. Yeah, I love it. Dude, I'm holding an e-bike with one freaking yeah, arm. Yeah, that's awesome. Let me back up some so they can see it. Oops. Dude, you can work out with this bike, dude. <laughs> oh, you can even put it on one of those like indoor bike things where you can like work out indoors. Like in actually, you probably could like to lift it up a little bit. Like an exercise bike. Oh, <laughs> uh, hold on. Where's the seat? Where's the kickstand? I think I need to keep it upside down. Let's get the seat on now. <laughs> <laughs> kickstand guys why are you guys not reminding me I'm not tightening that up all the way that's uh, nice I like it so kickstand always goes on this side right maybe I could just do it laying down JR13 said that is a nice looking non looking e-bike no Karen's yelling at you on trails exactly on those so stealthy and like and if you did want extra where's the batteries if you did want to carry like extra batteries you could probably fit like four of these in your book bag. I mean, how much is this way? I wish I had a freaking scale. Feels like about, do you have like that five pound weight here? Yeah. Maybe this is five pounds. I do. Let me Lime see. green right there. Let me see. This is about, it's a three pound, three pounder. Just a little bit more than three pounds, it feels like. There's the five pound, the green. Oh, uh, it's fine. It, it's just, <laughs> it's a super light battery. So you can work out with a battery or the bike. <laughs> you can play cricket with it. Cricket. Speaking of crickets, did you guys see what, uh, what state is like that? Like Nevada, they have like a, a huge like cricket invasion going on over there. 
Mike Crazy. Beattie said, I like the color for sure. Yeah. Looks like the Terminator. He said, yeah, the kickstand was a bit different to put on. Not the Terminator. It looks like RoboCop. For some stuff. reason, I look at the color and it reminds me of RoboCop. Uh, hold on. How's this go? Right here on the front? or Actually, I think it goes through from the back, maybe? Instruction manual. Any questions? Any questions? I'm coming closer so they, so they can see you put this kickstand on. Can you guys predict what bike I'm showing on possibly Sunday? It's a bike that I'm excited for. I'm excited for this bike. I'm excited for it. All right, I'm guessing, dudes. Does it go from behind like that? And you screw it through like that? Here's Shreddy guessing. Okay, it's not close to the rotor, so it's not gonna hit the rotor. I think I'm right. Feedy, help me. All right. Hey, if it, if it works, it'll work, right? We're good. I think we're good, right? Are we good? We're not good? Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Remember when I put a kickstand like this? Oh, I forget which one of the bikes it was and I thought it looked so weird being so far back. I was like, no, that's wrong. That can't be right. All right. This is the fastest bike you've assembled. How long did it take like me? Like easiest assembly? Yeah. Like 30 minutes? Usually it takes me a while because I'm always talking. Usually it takes like an up. hour and a half. <laughs> Maybe because I, I have tools I could use here. <laughs> Mike Feedy said, yes, that's right. He said, that's what I was saying when I said it went on differently. Ah, got you. Thank you. Okay, watch out, Sushi. Come here, Sushi. Sushi, over here. Thank you. I just need to stand this up, my guy. Oh, there we go. Dude, that's crazy how I could just pick that up like that. Very nice, very nice. It's got like a piece of like hard, like I want to say it's like a plastic like wrap or something. I guess that's like to protect the, the frame a little bit right here. I don't know if you can see the shine from it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yep. it protects it. And then back here, 36 volt, 250 watt motor. What'd they say? Fi claim about 53 miles of range. I'm wondering what it feels like pedaling this thing again without it having gears. Um, it does have a torque sensor on it, so it's kind of it's going to give you what you push into the pedals. Um, and you guys have seen me ride one other bike with uh, the torque sensor on it, and I actually really love the feeling of the torque sensor and playing with it. Like it, it makes you want to work out and push the bike and and just have fun with it. So, all right. the logo looks nice too, like the silver with the gray bike. Thousand likes, I'll get spandex. Tighten that up a little bit. And for people just joining, Eddie, do you want to point out the features of the bike? Uh, hold on, let me sit on this thing. Oh, I'm not used to small seats like this. I'm used to a whole like couches. <laughs> All right, that, that does feel pretty nice. So yeah, this is the CGO 600 Pro by 10 ways. Can we see you This thing is again? so light, it's 37 pounds and I'm pretty sure that's with the battery. Let's get the battery in first. That way you can see what it looks like with the frame kind of filled in there. Hold on, let me see where the, there we go. Mike Feeney said 250 was for Europe and US got 350. Oh, so we got the 350 watts, nice. Uh, no throttle, I don't think, on this bike, guys. So if you're looking for a moped-style bike, this one isn't for you. This is going to be the bike where you're going to want to take out, ride around town, ride in the city, actually get like a little bit of a workout, have fun out there. I mean, you can go grocery shopping, do do uh, you know, some run some errands on this thing, and actually oh. get like a workout. So you want me to sit on it again? And the other good feature of the bike that they um, that's different from other electric bikes, with that makes it less maintenance is the belt drive belt drive right down here yep no not chain driven so don't have to worry about oiling it or anything oh do i have to adjust the rear the rear brake yes i do <laughs> or is it the fender that's rubbing hold on i might have a rubbing fender maybe
Just making sure it's not rubbing. It doesn't look like it is. Maybe it's. All right, I'm gonna adjust the brakes. I don't know if it's a, if it's the rear breaker or the fender. We'll see. Let me just loosen both these bolts, holding it. Just enough to where they move. Let's see if I can adjust it. That's the fender for sure. Yeah, it doesn't sound yeah. like the brake. It sounds like the fender. How do you adjust that? I'm trying to like to bend it up a little bit. This is adjusted all the way up, so I can't get any more play on that. Maybe on the bottom one. Looks like the bottom one is pretty low. Could it be my tire is not seated right too? It could be like a bulge in the tire. Because see, it gets tight there, loose there. Yeah. Yeah, my guess it's, yeah, now that I'm looking at the tire, see the little white line around the tire? See how it's kind of like going up and down? Can you see that, D? So I think I have to just like deflate the tire and uh, reseat this sucker. Hold on, actually, hold on, man. There it goes, hold on. Good. Fixed. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's fixed. I don't. I don't want to do be like on the review and this thing like lock up the back tire when I'm trying to like the jet. Oh, Mike Feedy said everyone take the time to like the video. Thank you, Feedy. He said they also call it the C Go 600 Pro. C Go. Not, not C G O. I thought it was C G O. LOL. They are so confusing, and it's these names these days. Uh huh. LOL. I was wondering the name was like CGO600 Pro. I was like, that's very hard to remember. Seago. Seago. Oh, Seago. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get this brake adjusted. I'm going to hold that rear brake nice and tight. Then we're going to tighten the little bolts that I loosened up. David Cook, uh, Shortheads member, said, want me to just click like 1,000 times? Yes, then please. Then Party Boy can... Do you get his freak flag fly. Imagine me going like full on, like super hardcore spandex rider on my review video, like the whole the the whole setup, dude. Like from their helmet to the glasses that go all the way across, super tight spandex. Richard Cruz said that's a great looking bike. The next bike I'm guessing is going to be the Max Fox X1. Out, my guest, outstanding job on the review. There's a there's a few coming, guys. There's a few. One that the guys have been waiting for for a while. And there's just some things coming to the channel that aren't normally on the channel that you guys are going to, like, love. And it's it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait Super to show you guys. Exciting. I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait to see your guys', even though I won't see your faces. I can't see your, wait to see your guys' reaction to, to the fun things we're going to have on the channel here soon. But, uh let me sit on this bad boy again. Ugh. It does feel very solid. The brakes feel nice and tuned up. They don't feel squishy or spongy or anything. So I like that. Let me pick it up again with the battery now that it's like the full. It's still super light. That's crazy. If I was actually strong, I could hold it up in front of me, but I can't. <laughs> and uh, kind of looks like almost the same display as the OG Zoos has had. Maybe I can turn it on in front of you guys. I can't wait to try this thing out in the in the front yard. Um, I don't know if there's an on button on the battery. If it's always on. Oh, it's like a little like gauge down here to tell you how full or how empty it is. So hold that M button. Oh, let me get closer here. And she's not turning on. Maybe there's a top button up here. Sometimes the power button's up top there. Hold on, what? <laughs> Maybe I need the instruction manual. Oh, you need a password? What? Hold on, maybe it's all zeros. Okay. <laughs> Imagine if my bike was locked and I couldn't review it. Jesus. 
It comes with this little notification bell. That's pretty cool. The camera seems to be locked. <laughs> it has what? The camera seems to be locked today. Like I can't move it around. Oh, sorry. You can turn this. So it's this okay. Thing up. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. what I turned. So let's see how many levels we got. One, two, three levels of pedal assist. I wish I had a warehouse where I could do videos for you guys and like actually pedal the bike and show you, but you know what? We don't need a damn warehouse. All we got to use is a townhouse. Let's see the lights. Hold on, let me get a pedal in. Ooh, that should feel smooth. Yeah, that's cool. I can't forget the bed my brakes. Remember when you guys build your first bikes, go out there and heat up them rotors without locking them up and then let it sit for 20 minutes and cool down. But you'll smell like the, well, I don't know, when I, when I bedded the brakes on a Supra, I smelled the brake pads like burning, getting hot. And uh, they shouldn't squeal after you bed them. But you can actually feel like there's like a, something on the brakes that you gotta wear off. Oh, headlights, headlights. I think you hold the up button to turn it on. Yes, sir. Nice. There we go. Does it have a walking mode? Let's see. Hold the down button. This is their walking mode. <laughs> so yeah, hold the down button. It's a walking mode. Dude, I bet you, I bet you there is a way to get a throttle on this e-bike. 100%. There's got to be a cable not being used or something we can do to get a throttle on this e-bike. That'd be kind of cool. I wonder if we could wheelie this bike. Uh, I know Fiti. I think he probably wheelied this bike. I think... Last time he came down, he was wheeling this bike. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. What did I forget, D? I forgot something. Front fender. Oh, yeah, say, there it is on the floor. I want to say it would probably look cooler without one, but let's go ahead. Struggle with shred. Um, can I get it on like that? Oof. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, I thought covers the that back more. backwards. Look at this. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I remember already, I put the fender on the OG uh, Grizzly on and I got so much hate for that. Like that's backwards. I was like, my favorite band is Criss Cross. You don't know who they are, do you? They make you want to jump. See? Mike Fee said, gotta get the wraparound shades, LOL. A step up from the Louis Vuitton. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Junior said, and check your nuts. Always check your nuts. That's, a, that's one thing I forgot. I, I got to check the nuts all around. Before you go on your first bike ride on your new, newly built e-bike, always check your nuts. Always check your nuts. After 50 miles, always check your nuts. After every ride, always check your nuts. But definitely don't forget to always check your nuts. And guys that are just joining, if you guys are interested in a, in a 10 ways, see go. 600 <laughs> Pro, there's a link down below. 10 Ways Isn't For You. Check out all those other links down below because there might be a bike you like. David Cook said, because I'm the miggity, miggity, miggity Mac. Exactly. Because <laughs> I'm the miggity, 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 miggity Mac. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to screw this back in loosely. That way I can like adjust it up or down so it doesn't rub on the tire. Junior said, dude, turn the wheel so it gives you move room to put the bolt on. Dude, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I do these live videos. It's just to get you guys to help me on these damn builds. I never know what I'm doing. Oh, where, oh, where can my tools be? All right, here we go. Right. Now can I turn it back? Just for now. Put it on the side. Any comments? Any comments, Didi? You guys have any questions? Did it, any guesses on the bikes that are coming on the channel or brands? Oh, oh yeah, my God, they, we're working they guessed with? the Mac Fox. Is that coming? Um, Do you know it's better than me? <laughs> Junior mentioned a bike and I missed his comment earlier. Do you want to Junior, write, repeat. Do you want to write? Oh, here. He, he was riding the Roadrunner Pro yesterday. That thing is a beast. Dual motor, 50 plus mile per hour on 14 inch what? rims. What? Are you kidding me? The Roadrunner Pro? Who's got that? I would love to try it. Oh, and I got to call Mr. E to trade for that uh, electric unicycle. I'm he, still getting an EUC. I, I don't, I, I just. He wants to come I down need, next week. Yeah, I got to hit him up. 
What's up, Sushi? You coming back, hanging out with Shreddy? Mike Feeney said, don't forget the blink light for the seat post. Yes, that's right. Here it is. Blink, blink. How do you turn it on? Boom. Boom. Hold on. There's got to be like a plastic tab. Yep. Boom. Cool. Perfecto. Perfecto. What was I doing? Oh, screwing this on. And then I got to tighten this one up. But I can, I can turn, <laughs> can turn it to get to it easier. Dirt. What's up, Sushi? Sushi likes his booty smack. That's why, that's why he's like next to me. Giving me his belly. What's up, buddy? Can you guys see him? He's like, <laughs> he's just laying there. <laughs> Gee, attack, attack. This Jay is like so relaxing hanging out with a cat. <laughs> Jay Har said, the guy on the EUC that came with me for the Christmas ride, he just got the Roadrunner Pro. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, next time you come down with him, see if he'll bring that. How big's the battery on that? Can it last for like a long ass group ride? And that's right, his, his wife had the, uh, the dual motor or dual battery. Oh, electric. That's right, that's right. 60 volt, 30 AH. That's something in my eyeball. All right. Oh, what are me, the sushi? specs on this bike? Excuse me, sushi. So I thought it was a 250 watt motor. It's a 350 watt motor, 36 volt, uh, 10 amp hour battery on there. Uh, where is the tool? There you go. And you guys are going to be doing the review video next for this bike. Oh, he's in my ear. There we go. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, that's, that's the wrong tool. There's the big one. Is his butt on my head? Yes. Oh boy. Oh my God, he's like totally laying all up on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's like rubbing. <laughs> Sushi. Let me finish this, this um, unboxing and I'll get back to you, buddy. Or I guess the unboxing is done, the build. Let's get the build done. All right, that's on there. That's good. We're good. Um, I wonder if, can we charge the battery with the battery mounted also? Looks like you can. Yep, right there, boom, hell yeah, dude. I'm definitely gonna try this out for like a second out there, around there. The block, there we go. Any questions, ZD, for, for from the stream? In the, Let's see. In the chat, I'll sit on it again. Hell yeah. The Roadrunner is hers, he said. Is his, uh, his wife's? Yeah. Wife's, <laughs> not wives. Any more? That's it. No more questions. Guys, we're going to have some more unboxings coming very soon. Ones that we're super excited for. Big brands that we're excited for. I can't tell you guys just yet. I'll be announcing those pretty soon. 10-way Seago uh, 600 Pro if you guys are interested. I'm going to be doing the review for this bike tomorrow. So the uh, review, the full review video should be out next week. I got a Suron video coming out very soon. I just got to do some finishing touches, add a few little B-roll spots in there. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see you guys again. If you guys want to support the channel, as always, there's a link down below for 10 ways. If 10 ways isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. Any more questions before we end the stream? Nope, and let's see, the day most voted for is Saturday. So you guys want to do a Saturday stream? And then Sunday. Remember, I, I thought people wanted to see us more uh, live on the weekends. But I feel like everyone might be at the Mega Ride too, so not sure. This weekend it might be kind of yeah. crazy. Everybody might, like we'll, we'll see. Weekend. We'll see. Um, Mike yeah. Feeney said, gang, let me know and I'll come down and kick it for the next live. Yep, hell yeah, awesome. And don't forget, we're going to be planning some group rides here and uh, the Lewis Beach, Rehoboth Beach, Delaware Beaches, Dewey Beach area. Um, I'm gonna try to do something weekly, kind of like what they have over at LA Eastgate in California, um, because the community is just so awesome. And the fact that a lot of you guys uh, vacation here in the Delaware Beaches, it'll give you guys something to do one of the days that you guys are here. So that'll be pretty fun. Maybe get to meet a lot of you guys out there, but. That's it. Any questions? Any questions? And as always, if you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification.
to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for that subscribe button? If you're not subscribed yet, in three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next live. So that'll be coming soon. Maybe Saturday? No, not Saturday. Maybe Sunday. Maybe Monday. I don't know. We'll see. See you guys soon. We miss you.